Right, we're going to look at some of the additives that you can mix with acrylic paints to extend their properties and change things around a little bit and to make life easier for yourself. And the first obvious additive, if you think, is the equivalent to turpentine with oil paint, is water. Now, we'll have that in a, in a pot, obviously, to, to wash brushes uh, a little later on in some of the lessons, but it's also useful to have a simple mist spray like this, because from time to time, you might want to spray the top of the paints when they're in the palette, just to keep them moist and just to stop them going off. Just put that out of the way over here so I don't knock it over. The next thing we're going to look at is, strictly speaking, not an additive at all. But I've included it here because it tends to be on the shelves in the art shops where all the other additives are. And this is acrylic gesso. And you can have a look at it, really. There's nothing special in the pot. It's a very densely pigmented white paint. But what that's used for is to put a surface on your painting surface. In this case, I'm sitting this on a canvas panel that's already primed. But very often if you use something like MDF or some other paint surface that's not primed, then acrylic gesso is great because you put this on to the, the surface, paint it on, let it dry very, very quickly, and it gives you a nice matte rough surface with a bit of tooth and a bit of texture so that it'll really take your acrylic paints without problem. So that's acrylic gesso. What have we got here? Yeah, we've got acrylic glaze medium. That's a little bit more advanced, but not too much, so don't worry about it. We'll have a look at this in one of the lessons, because you mix this with your paints if you want to thin them down and get a more translucent effect. Now, you can use water, and, and there's no problem with that. The only difficulty is, if you use too much water and not very much acrylic paint, then you find that sometimes the acrylic paint loses its adhesive properties and actually doesn't stick to the paint surface or the layer below it. Well, the glaze medium allows you to create that translucent effect because, effectively, it's acrylic paint without the colour. Now, this little tube is probably going to be the biggest friend of all if you have problems blending uh, acrylic paint and keeping it open because it's called acrylic uh, retarder. It's actually a clear gel that you mix with the acrylic paints and it can keep the paint open for perhaps 50% longer than it normally would uh, stay able to be workable. I use an awful lot of that, particularly if the studio is a little bit warm or if you're working outside, if you're somewhere like Australia in the high summer, you'll certainly need something like that to keep your paints uh, nice and workable. So that's acrylic gel retarder. Okay, now we've looked so far at things that might tend to thin the paints and make them a little bit more malleable. But again, with acrylics, you've got this ability to... to add things to it to make it thicker and more 3D. And here's a typical sort of uh, product that you can buy called uh, ceramic stucco. And you can see if I just get a, a palette knife, you can see it's a very thick, juicy looking um, acrylic based paste, which you can either mix with the paints and put the, the uh, paste down on the picture and retain this colour, or you can put it down on the picture and then once it's dried, paint over it in the uh, colours of your choice. And these, or this stuff, is available from any art store. Having said that, if you look at the size of that, if you go to any DIY store, and buy yourself a tub of wall tile adhesive or flooring tile adhesive, essentially you're getting much the same thing. In fact, in some cases, the uh, tile adhesive is even thicker. The big difference is that for the same price, you're getting about three or four times the amount of the fancy jar that you buy in the art store. Right, just let's get these uh, bits of cement and uh, stucco out the way. One other thing that's very very readily available is of course sand now i'm not going to put a big bag of sand in front of me because there's no room so you'll have to suffice with that little label sand sand 
if you mix sand in with acrylic paint or with the uh, the stucco or the tile cement that we've just looked at then you get an even grittier and extra texture that you can mix with the paints or you can paint over once everything's dried and that leaves us finally with the sort of developments that are happening all the time in acrylic paint what you find is that acrylic paints have developed since the 1950s to a much better product nowadays than they were originally and every six or twelve months or so some manufacturer comes out with another development or another product that leapfrogs all the other manufacturers with some marvelous innovation now as I've said the big problem with most acrylic paints is the speed of drying and one of the most recent uh, developments is by a company called Artelia Interactive this is just a small tube out of uh, a sample set that I've got hold of the uh, the normal size tubes are similar to the ones that you've seen earlier but what they claim is that these paints stay open very very much longer on the palette in other words they don't skin over and even when they do dry you can by using the paint spray you can spray on top of the paint that you've already put down onto the painting surface and start reworking them and it does work I have tried it it does work not only that but with what they call their special unlocking formula you can actually get acrylic paints to open up and be reworked perhaps up to 24 hours after they've dried now this unlocking formula is called isopropyl alcohol uh, or more simply known as IPA so that's the I will say the latest um, in the uh, the developments on acrylic it's just typical of the sort of uh, developments that manufacturers are making all the time to improve acrylics and to make them more and more user-friendly for people like you <laughs>